imagine a place in the universe so dense, so powerful, that not even light can escape its gravitational pull. A place where the laws of physics as we know them seem to break down, and time and space warp in ways that boggle the mind. Yes, we're talking about the enigmatic and awe-inspiring phenomena known as black holes. These cosmic beasts have been a source of fascination and mystery for scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Their elusive nature and immense power have made them a subject of intense study and speculation. But what if I told you that we've just taken a giant leap in our understanding of these celestial monsters? World-renowned physicist Michio Kaku has recently made an announcement that has sent ripples through the scientific community. He claims that we've finally managed to peek inside a black hole, shedding light on what was once a realm of darkness and mystery. But what exactly did we find inside? How does this change our understanding of black holes and indeed the universe itself? Our journey begins over a century ago with one of the greatest minds humanity has ever known, Albert Einstein. In 1916, Einstein presented the world with his groundbreaking theory of general relativity. This theory, which describes gravity as a curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy, also predicted the existence of black holes. However, at that time, these cosmic entities were nothing more than a theoretical prediction, a mathematical curiosity born from the equations of relativity. Fast forward to the 1960s, a time of great exploration and discovery, not just here on Earth, but also in the vast expanse of space. It was during this decade that scientists studying the Cygnus constellation noticed something peculiar. They observed an unusually bright blue star emitting X-rays, but these X-rays were not stationary. They seemed to be orbiting something, something massive yet invisible. This invisible entity was pulling in the X-rays, absorbing them, and thus the concept of the black hole was born. This discovery was named Cygnus X-1, the first identified black hole, located about 6,000 light-years from Earth in the constellation Cygnus. Cygnus X-1 was no ordinary discovery. It was brighter than our Sun and incredibly dense, creating a gravitational pull so strong that nothing, not even light, could escape it. This was the proof that the scientific community needed. Black holes were no longer just a figment of Einstein's genius. They were real and they were out there in the cosmos. This marked the beginning of a new era in our understanding of the universe, an era that would lead us to the groundbreaking discovery we're about to discuss. So, what exactly is a black hole? At its core, a black hole is a region of space where gravity is so incredibly strong that nothing, absolutely nothing, can escape its pull. Not planets, not stars, not even the fastest thing in the universe, light itself. This is why we call them black holes. They are invisible to us because they absorb all light, leaving behind nothing but a void of darkness. But don't let the name fool you. While they might be invisible, black holes are anything but empty. They are incredibly dense, with a mass that can be millions or even billions of times greater than our sun. This immense mass is packed into an incredibly small space, creating a gravitational field that is off the charts. Now. You might be wondering, if black holes are invisible, how do we know they're there? The answer lies in their immense gravitational pull. While we can't see black holes directly, we can observe their effects on the objects around them. Stars orbiting black holes, for example, move at incredible speeds due to the black hole's gravity. We can also see jets of gas and particles being ejected from the areas around black holes, a phenomenon known as quasars. The concept of a black hole is both fascinating and terrifying. It's fascinating because it challenges our understanding of the universe and the laws of physics. It's terrifying because anything that gets too close to a black hole will be pulled in, stretched and compressed to a point of infinite density, a process ominously known as spaghettification. But despite their terrifying nature, black holes are not cosmic villains. They play a crucial role in the universe, helping to shape galaxies and even giving birth to new stars. They are a testament to the incredible diversity and complexity of our universe, a universe that continues to surprise and amaze us at every turn. Michio Kaku, the world-renowned physicist who recently made a groundbreaking announcement, he claimed that we finally managed to peek inside a black hole, a feat that was once thought to be impossible. But what did we find inside this cosmic enigma? To understand this, we need to delve into the structure of a black hole. Contrary to popular belief, 
A black hole is not just a single gaping hole of nothingness. It's far more complex than that. A black hole is composed of three layers. The first layer is the event horizon, the point of no return. Once you cross this boundary, there's no turning back. You're inexorably drawn towards the black hole center. The second layer is the photon sphere, a region where light orbits the black hole. Any light that enters this region is trapped, unable to escape the black hole's immense gravitational pull. Finally, we reach the third layer, the singularity. This is where everything that enters the black hole gets compressed down to an infinitesimal point. The singularity is a place where the laws of physics as we know them break down and we simply can't predict what happens next. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Every black hole is unique. They all follow the same three-layer structure, but the way they function can be vastly different. This makes studying black holes a monumental challenge. But despite these challenges, Michio Kaku and his team have managed to make a groundbreaking discovery. They've found a way to peek inside a black hole, to see beyond the event horizon and into the singularity. This discovery has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of black holes. It could shed light on the mysteries of the singularity and perhaps even reveal new laws of physics. So, what did Michio Kaku find inside the black hole? And how does this change our understanding of these cosmic enigmas? As we delve into the implications of this new discovery, we find ourselves standing on the precipice of a new era in astrophysics. The discovery of what's inside a black hole, as announced by Michio Kaku, has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. This discovery not only sheds light on the mysterious interior of black holes, but also opens up exciting new possibilities. For instance, the concept of an Einstein-Rosen bridge or a wormhole, a theoretical passage through space-time that could connect two separate regions of the universe, or even two parallel universes. Imagine, if you will, a shortcut through the fabric of space-time, allowing us to traverse vast cosmic distances in an instant. While this concept is still purely theoretical and fraught with challenges, it's a testament to the limitless potential of scientific discovery. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The discovery of what's inside a black hole is a monumental achievement in its own right. It's a testament to human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's a reminder that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible. So, what have we learned today? We've journeyed into the heart of a black hole, explored its mysterious layers, and delved into the groundbreaking discovery made by Michio Kaku. We've seen how this discovery has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of black holes and the universe itself. But this is just the beginning. As we continue to explore the cosmos, who knows what other secrets we'll uncover? The universe is a vast, mysterious place, and we've only just begun to scratch the surface. So. Stay curious, keep exploring, and remember, in the realm of science, the only limit is the sky, and subscribe to Mission Universe for more.